Hey guys, it's Umbellas. Welcome back to a brand new video. Yes, I am a little bit sick, so my voice is a little bit soft and or scratchy and or just not normal. But anyway, today we're gonna build in the world of Windenburg. I don't think I have ever built in Windenburg before. Well, at least not on my channel. But I have been building in this world, I don't know, in the time when Get Together was released. I mean, that's the last time I actually built in this world. But anyway, today we're gonna bulldoze this little house. We're gonna do a lit- not a house, this is a bar, by the way way but today we're gonna do another pinterest reference bolt now i haven't done a pinterest reference in a hot minute and today we're gonna be doing this one over here now this seems like four little shops okay that's nice and tight next to each other i don't know what we are to call them the type of bolt if you if you know please let me know because i'm a dumbass but anyway so i decided on windenburg because this whole two-door feeling or two-door or tudor or i don't know how do you pronounce it i don't know it's just the basically medieval feeling I feel fits this image the best and I am gonna alter them a little bit to fit into the whole world as well so we're gonna have four little shops a no longish kind of one a nice fat and wide one I suppose and another one like this perhaps I don't know maybe a little bit smaller still and I am gonna give them second floors I don't I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the top floors at all we're gonna give another floor to the third one over here because in the image the third building is a little bit taller than the rest now it's time to quickly figure out our roofing i would like to implement that little attic and then we have another roof like that right next to this one and the roof on this side is also a plain roof like this but i think i'm gonna give it a little twist literally make it opposite than the first two roofs so over here i would like to add i don't know hopefully we have the right roof sculptures i mean something in the line of this I've actually been sick for a whole week now like I usually don't take that long to get over sickness But for as long as I'm sick, I tend to speak as soft as I do now Like I cannot scream really if I try to scream you, well You don't really hear anything come out and if I try to speak loudly I'm literally pushing myself to speak loudly and that's gonna be a little bit exhausting to me because talking a lot while I'm sick Exhausts me a lot which really does suck. I would like to implement. I don't know these kind of wallpapers you know the two-door wallpapers and the stones yeah definitely implement those so i suppose we can use some of our new kits the cozy bistro kit although we're not gonna have a bistro we're gonna have maybe a flower shop a music shop a dress shop and did i already mention a flower shop i think i did but we're gonna have four different kind of shops over here okay also i'm wondering what doors are we gonna use in general these maybe like we can have one over here like this okay they don't all need to be white i noticed in the image that they are all white for some reason but i don't know we can we can see how it goes actually actually no this door isn't working maybe we can just reuse this door okay it's not too repetitive so far so good actually i think the middle shop should be the the flower shop because of the flowers in front of it in the image so maybe we're gonna implement that so we can maybe use our awesome cozy bistro windows apparently they do not come in medium sizes we can use these windows over here for the flower shop all kind of cool looking actually these windows we could implement these windows as well at the back i'm gonna keep it cohesive with the same windows that we have at the front so far this is what we have i think it's all right shouldn't judge my bolts too much because i do that a lot and by judging i mean a bad kind of judgment so yeah my earphone just fell out of my ear but i just noticed i don't need it because i'm building i noticed we have another awning on this building over here it's like a bluish kind of shop awning like this almost yeah that's almost exactly what we need okay well, you know that can work perfectly and then we have an orange one on this side we are definitely gonna have some beautiful things going on in this bolt well for the exterior mainly one thing I, that i noticed is that we have some plants climbing against this building as well which is something i would definitely not miss out on adding kind of good kind of good looking i feel i think i trust i believe we could use this too going along this side oh that looks good i think okay i'm not gonna implement the exact swatches that we have on each and every building as in the image down here i am going to implement some of windenberg's stuff as well so it can actually tie into the world okay so if you put this next to the reference image we did implement like i said the 
Windenburg look and feel, but we still have the same color coordination. So the first building has like this greenish theme, the next one red, the next one blue, and the last one orange. So we did basically go perfectly according to the Pinterest image, but from here, please excuse my dog, but from here we're gonna continue this build at our own pace and without the reference. So let's start off first with this one over here. I really am looking the most forward to doing the plants and or flower shop because yeah I just I just love doing plants in general. So we also have the Riviera retreat kit of which the items I have not checked out yet but I'm pretty sure we can use some of their items here as well. Trust me if I wasn't sick I would sound much more exciting than I do now but trust me I do really love the new plant that we got with the new kit. <laughs> plants excite me I don't know why. Oh should we do that up there? Will it be against the law if we add something so beautiful up here? Probably. I think I'm gonna keep it like it's it's just too beautiful not to use and it looks good up here if I have to be honest maybe we can bring the overhang a little bit to the front of this roof then there we go to cover up the top part of that plant stand majig okay I think the showcase is coming along nicely we can maybe put these plants on an angle over here but we need some more flowers we're lacking flowers here for a flower shop I just want to quickly implement some bathrooms and I'm gonna do it for the top floor not of each building but maybe only the f one building i mean it's not necessary to have so many bathrooms in each and every building like if you need to go to the bathroom just know the flower shop has a bathroom that you can use and wada wada i remember on my first ever stream that my little sister asked me what my favorite expansions are in the sims 4 specifically and i mentioned that it would be get to work and why i would say that get to work is my favorite expansion is because of the fact that you can run your own retail store like I mean is there anything more awesome than the idea of running your own store like seriously and not just that the interactive jobs that's where it was introduced you can join your sim going to the hospital as a doctor as a scientist and or as a policeman or a policewoman but the thing that stood up the most to me was the fact that you can run your own retail store and I just thought about how just awesome the idea actually is how can the sims not bring something like that back again more options you know run your own daycare have some drop off their children at your home and you can maybe have a home-based daycare and what a what it would just be so freaking cool if you had to ask me to build a daycare in the sims 4 i would build it according to the book for you but yeah but we have not gotten anything in terms of daycares yet so i'm not gonna talk too much on daycares yet okay so this is what i've done for the interior I know it's a little bit maybe wildly scattered and everything but I mean where else are you gonna put all of the plants and stuff like there's a few plants you can buy over there there is a few plants you can buy and over there and I decided to add this hinge over here that I don't know just brings the whole meaning of the shop together up here we have a bathroom fit for a mother or father sim to clean their little ones and a normal bathroom on the other side okay next up I think I'm gonna do the music room so this one I decided will be our music store the top floor is going to be completely empty although we can still try something cool up here to make it look not so freaking empty we can break open the floor we can add some fencing up here like i mean that's honestly good enough like what more can you do up here these curtains do not fit these windows but they kind of still work and it feels like they're clipping into that little upside down triangle over there which is pretty interesting <laughs> okay for in here i'm only gonna add one piano this piano I know is oh my god freaking beautiful it's such a shame that this pack is broken they've given us such beautiful items a beautiful world to play in but the gameplay is not so beautiful you know i'm of course talking about my wedding stories we can have one piano available to buy maybe an upright piano as well like that would be nice obviously some guitars we can have something that suits everybody's style and preferences i think i'm gonna place them on display like that whoa this guitar is so so freaking cool looking the werewolf's guitar 
Oh, we do have another guitar and acoustic, I think. Yeah, acoustic guitar. I don't play guitar, but I know my guitars. Oh, and of course, some violins. Oh, I think I know what the other retail store can is. The one that I still haven't decided on what to do there. I think that can be an art store. I don't know, paintings and some easels you can maybe buy. Or a bike shop. I have always wanted to do a bike shop. And finally, we have enough bikes in the game to actually do something like that. So I think I'm going to do a bike shop for the, well, basically blue shop i suppose something i've been wanting to build for a long time but we, i'd never got so far and i always get forgetting about the idea of doing a bike shop at least a bicycle shop you know okay what other awesome instruments do we have i think these keyboards will do fine as well these keyboards are always a good time to put on display i feel like they just fit in so nicely in any kind of music store and i have built a music store before it's just i never built it on camera before so okay the dj booth i think we can implement a DJ booth thingy-bajiggy over here as well because I mean this is get together the world of get together at least oh mic stands might be good too okay with the music store finished I think we can move on to the dress shop maybe oh no not the dress shop I'm gonna do that one last because I'm gonna have to add a sim to help me there okay I just quickly want to adjust this vine a bit uh, it's still hovering in my face don't like it when they hover in my face okay there we go so like I said this is gonna be our bike shop we have some kitties bikes already sweet okay let's go and copy and paste this bike over here to get the rest of them i wish we had tandem bikes you know the bikes with the two seats on them okay maybe we can have two adult bikes at the front and two kitties bikes oh i love that that's just so freaking cool oh my god okay allow me to just quickly differentiate between the adult and the kitties bikes here for a second i suppose it would make sense to also add some of these skis you know since it's basically like the kind of shop that would sell skis skis i suppose like if you don't know where to get skis just go to the bicycle shop i wish you could hang the skis against the wall like that would be so handy but that option is not available to us to do it like so okay so we have some bikes and we have some skis it's basically what this shop is about because we could add some decoration as well i don't know i mean what do i mean i don't know of course we're gonna add some decor some certificates perhaps of people who have for example won many skiing competitions or a biking competition competitions you know things like that we're gonna have some of those fairy lights hanging along there i don't know maybe to attract the kids i don't know oh this is beautiful no this is obviously not for sale but it's a very cool illustration of the whole skiing slash skateboarding things some climbing gear oh that's perfect yeah i think that's good enough honestly it's very nicely illustrated i suppose now one thing that i would love to actually add to this shop as well is things like basketballs you know balls the sims can kick and play with that sounded weird <laughs> yeah it can be sick but i can still crack up a joke or two now and then i suppose balls where do we find balls so we're gonna have some soccer balls i call them soccer balls not sure what you call them in your country you can have some what we call not footballs but rugby balls are those the only balls we have available to us i think so Ooh, cool rainbow one why do they call it a football when you obviously play with it mostly in your hands you you know what i mean like you know you kick it now and then but for the most part the ball is in your hand or your hands i don't know i will never understand sport i am not interested in sport at all either honestly i don't care to learn <laughs> so yeah okay so we have a little i don't know sporting shop which is pretty cool or a sports shop whatever you want to call it all right okay so for this shop over here i'm gonna have to go ahead and grab a sim because we're gonna need the mannequins let's quickly just place down our mannequins all right so all we need to do now is maybe do some minor decorating and then quickly go ahead and grab a sim to dress up our dummies over here oi who are you calling a dummy <laughs> so yeah sadly we are gonna skip the painting shop i would like to have something like that for this bolt but yeah i decided on the bike shop like I, I i i like the sports shop it's so cool i've never done it before yeah that's why i wanted to do it instead of a painting shop okay suppose a nice big and elegant mat or rug would do nicely for this little shop we could maybe have these women backing each other up over here this male mannequin can be there in the corner checking out the beautiful woman these two can be snickering in the corner about the two beautiful women in the middle and <laughs> this woman is forever on 
display <laughs> and the kids yeah kids are just here being kids oh it looks kind of cute from far away it's just too bad that it's kind of blocked off by this thing's icon i'm so freaking lazy now i'm just gonna go in the gallery quickly and just grab i don't know this sim over here and they can maybe live with this family over here oh my gosh look how beautiful it looks at night now this reminds me i need to add some lights as well um why do we have the option to dance with the mannequins like that, that that's kind of sad okay so we're gonna ask this lucky sub over here jack northly to please buy this whole retail store i would like to purchase that retail store that's not exactly finished yet we are yet to finish it still now the only tedious thing about these kind of builds is that you have to go now and set each and every item for sale in other words you do need a sim that owns the retail store every time you want to come over with a different sim to this place the items that has been purchased will be restocked and I, i'm not actually not sure over how many hours it takes for sims to restock items on their own you know like without your help but as far as i know as soon as you just set everything for sale and you visit the place with a different sim from a different household and you want to buy something you can buy anything that has been set for sale now, i just hope though that because i'm gonna put this ball on the gallery i hope that it's not necessary for any of you to do this again you know me setting everything for sale i get the feeling it might revert back to not being set for sale but i mean hopefully it is still available for your sims to buy but if that is the case by the time that you maybe want to use this retail store in your world and you might have to set each and every item for sale again after i know i have done it for you basically because you are maybe gonna have a way different retail owner than i do so yeah with a different sim it means you might have to set everything for sale again but i mean if you're willing to go through that effort then awesome <laughs> but yeah this is just the idea of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i hope to see you all in the next one